To install your Loop Starter Kit, using your computer, tablet or smartphone, open up your web browser and go to www.your-loop.com. Then click on Get Started, which will take you into the registration process and show you what's in the box. By clicking Next, when you get onto the registration page, you'll see that it says, please do not install the loop equipment until the registration wizard tells you to do so. The process will take you through a step-by-step -step guide and we will show you when to install each particular device. You move on to the next part of the process where you have to put in your authorization code. The authorization code will be found on the back of the loop starter kit with a sticky label on the bottom right hand corner. If your electricity starter kit arrived in this packaging, you will find the authorization code on the back of the box in the bottom right hand corner. The authorization code is case sensitive, so you just have to copy this across into the boxes as shown on the screen. Before clicking next, you have the opportunity to click here to view the terms and conditions of use of the site and then click the checkbox assuming you're happy and then proceed to press next. It's very simple and safe to install your Loop Electricity Starter Kit. Before installing, just check your meter cabinet to check that your meter cables are not damaged, that if it's installed outside that the meter cupboard door can be kept shut and that you don't need to use any excessive force on the meter cables. The next stage of the process is to install the loop receiver. That's the blue box that we have here. Three things to note on this that the receiver serial number is located on the side just below the sticker with the barcode. This cable here has an Ethernet jack that will connect into the back of your broadband router and I will show you that later. And this cable is your power supply cable which has a USB jack at the end which will plug in to the power supply plug. The receiver serial number starts D4F027 and then you have to put the unique digits thereafter into the box. So in this case 8008-7EFD and then click Next. To assemble the power plug for the loop receiver you simply raise this leg until you hear the click and then lift the red earth pin all the way up until you hear the click. You then have a three pin standard plug to fit in any socket. So now we've assembled the power plug we're ready to click next so that we can connect the loop receiver to the power supply. Don't worry if you get timed out and the screenshot changes. This shows that the connection has failed. Once you have connected the receiver to the power supply, you can try again by clicking this button. You will notice on this part of the registration process that the next button is greyed out. This will stay greyed out until the receiver is successfully connected to the power supply and has connected to the loop server. This button will then go orange. To connect your loop receiver to your broadband router, you simply take the Ethernet jack and plug it in to a spare Ethernet socket. If you don't have a spare Ethernet socket because you have a lead coming out of uh, your router for your computer requirements, then you can simply unclip the existing lead, clip in the loop receiver and connect your lead 
into the through port provided on your loop receiver. If you don't have a spare power socket close to your router, then if your router has a USB socket, the uh, loop receiver USB jack can connect directly into it and power the receiver. This uh, router doesn't have that, and so therefore we're going to use the mains power and the power plug. Now that the power plug is assembled, you can insert it into a spare plug socket um, quite easily. I mean, some of the sockets can be hard to access, so it is important to um, align the plug square on to the socket and insert it as so. You will then see the green LED light come on to show that it is powered up correctly. You take the USB jack from the loop receiver and simply plug it in to the socket and the LED will shine red to show that it is providing power to your loop receiver. Having powered up the loop receiver, you'll see little LEDs flashing which shows that it's working correctly. And if it's possible, it should be left in the vertical orientation, either upwards or downwards. So for this installation, I'm just going to turn the route around and let that sit behind like that in the vertical plane. Having connected the loop receiver to the broadband router and powered it up, we can now click try again and the system is showing that it's connecting. And success! The loop receiver has been successfully installed and we can now click the next button.